Hey guys, what is up? Redpin Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm just going to be building a small little mining rig here. And you guys just know I recently got some 1660s from Space Goats. So I bought these off of him and together this whole rig in terms of pricing is around, I would say about $2,500 USD. So my main goal is to see how long we can break even or get the return on initial investment on $2,500 USD. Mining with these right now it'll get about I think 20 to 23 mega hash on mining ethereum okay so these are 1660 non super non ti's so in this video I will show you guys the hash rates and we'll do you know roughly how much a day it'll make and when I can essentially break even on it and apparently I think it's about four months as about making this video so I'm gonna keep track on a single ethereum address and see how much ethereum and in terms of fiat value we can get the theoretical break even point but yeah I'm gonna build this rig and I'm gonna talk about all the different parts here first before I get started and I want to talk about how I'm gonna do the power supply and the power cabling okay in case some of you guys are interested in that okay so let's begin first I have a mining rig frame here that I have custom made myself back in 2017 there's a video I followed I think it was back in 2016 that mining hardware aka Guntus from mineshop.eu made an awesome video link in the description on how to make these aluminum angled frames all right so really awesome of him. You guys probably saw earlier, I have like a bunch of these that I made in 2017. I decided to bring one back and utilize it for this 6x1660 six mining rig. Okay, and you guys can see here, I have gprisers.com risers. Recently, they just sent me these new revisions. All right, so take a look at that. White PCB with the gold USB and also a new locking mechanism on the PCIe jacket or the riser there. Okay, so yeah, really cool. We're gonna be using those. So check out gprises.com if you guys are interested. Use offer code REDPANDAMINING for about 10% off. Okay, and then I have a Gigabyte H110D3A. Now this motherboard is not new. I've had this since like 2017, but theoretically, if someone was to buy this right now, it would be about, I think, $100, $130 roughly. And plus I have a G3930 or a G4400. I forgot which CPU this is, but yeah, it's one of those two. And then I have eight gigs of DDR4 RAM. And then I have a 120 gig SSD, which we're gonna use Hive OS. I'll have a link down in the description how to make a Hive OS USB boot. Plenty of videos on YouTube how to do that. So I already have Hive OS on here actually. All right guys, so now let's talk about the power supply, all right? So how I'm gonna power the six 1660s with one 850 watt power supply. And this is an EVGA 850 G3. And roughly, I got this power supply for about 200 bucks, so it's actually pretty expensive. But you guys can see here that there are four PCIe strands, okay, four different plugs that go into the power supply, and we're gonna be utilizing each of these strands. And so we have six 1660s, and with these four strands, two of them come as, you know, one eight pin, all right, so two different strands, one eight pin, and then another two cables come with dual eight pins, all right, it has one daisy chained off a single strand. And so my thought process is, is that the TDP for these 1660s is 120 watts, all right, according to Zotac. And I looked at the gauge on these PCIe cables and it said 18 gauge. And theoretically, they go up to about 300 watts, okay? Theoretically, it's supposed to be able to go to 300 watts on a daisy chained cable, 18 gauge, that's rated at uh, 600 volt, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing is I have six different splitters here, all right, the eight pin to dual eight pin, and these are from good old nerdgears.com. Thank you, nerdgears. So I'm gonna be putting a splitter on every single eight pin here, okay? And so there's six eight pins here, total on these four power supply strands. And then each of these splitted ends is gonna go into the GPU, which is a single eight pin, okay, right there. And then the other side is gonna go into the riser, okay, the GPURisers.com riser. So when we're mining, and of course we're gonna undervolt in Hive OS, so theoretically these GPUs only take about 75 watts when mining, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys all that later, and uh, yeah, we should totally be fine in terms of power capacity on an 850 watt for six Zotac 1660s as they're really low in power consumption anyway. Okay, so yeah, that's my power supply explanation there. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna like build it all together so I don't bore you guys in doing all that, all right? So what I'm gonna do after that is then we're gonna figure out the hash rates, power consumption, profitability, and all that stuff, okay? So I will see you guys 
after I build the whole thing. It should be pretty quick, all right? So here we go, three, two, one. There you guys go, look at that. Man, this, <laughs> this looks really good. It's been a while since I've played around with one of these custom frames. I, I love it, it works really well, guys. Making these custom frames, you know, I just went to Home Depot and you know bought some aluminum angle and wood and that's it. It, it takes like about half an hour to you know cut the pieces uh, to spec of course and depending you can make it longer as well okay so depending if you want you know depending on how long the GPUs are and uh, this this mining rig frame actually used to be for my shorter 1060 EVGA minis okay so this frame is actually perfect for these Zotac 1660s that you guys can see here so this is just perfect but yeah just to go around you guys can see how it looks like and uh, my cable management is not the best but I did what I could and you guys can see how I have it all there all the PCIe is plugged in and uh, let's take a look at the PCIe on this side here which looks pretty uniform did my best to uh, cable manage over here as you guys can see doesn't look too bad but yeah there's a splitter going to uh, each of the Zotac 1660s and the six PCIe pins that uh, you guys know I explained that before. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to turn it on now and I'm not sure if this motherboard already has the AC BIOS on. I think it does, but uh, I didn't have a VGA. I was hoping my little monitor here would connect, but it's HDMI and DVI. I don't have uh, VGA. Okay, so we'll see if it turns on here and we'll see what the power consumption is as well. I got a little kilowatt plugged in. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, turned on. Is there any smoke? Smell test. Okay, no smoke, no sparks. I think we're all good. Hive OS is on the SSD already. Okay, oh, it turned off. All right, it turned back on. Uh, huh. Uh, let's see here. Power consumption is 170, nope. It just turned off again. What's going on? Uh-oh. It's it turned back on automatically. So it says we're using about 178 watts and it just turned off again. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out what's going on. Oh man, I hope it's like not the power supply or I have everything plugged in. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to see what's going on and it just turned off again. All right, be right back. Okay, it is mining now. You guys can see getting about 27 mega hash on each of the 1660s, which is quite amazing actually. But okay, so you guys probably just saw I had to swap out the motherboard. Looks like this H110, there's something wrong with it. I'm not sure why it kept going on and off. I did try changing some risers, but it was not the GP risers. And I changed this uh, MSI SLI Plus motherboard. So this is the one from actually from Space Goats, and it seems like it's working. And I had to take out the CPU and I took out the RAM on this board, and it looks like it's working right now. Okay, so you guys saw the hash rate there and the power consumption. Uh, let's see here, 525, 526 watts or so. Okay, so you guys can see the power consumption there for the whole rig, okay? So look at that, it's working now. Yeah, really strange why the motherboard decided to not work. But yeah, I did a lot of different troubleshooting, like resetting the CMOS, and I don't know, I, I just not sure. I think this is, this is dead, but it turned on. So yeah, maybe I can try this out in another build future. But anyways, guys, it's working now, and let me show you the HiveOS web GUI. Okay, so you guys can see the six 1660 Zotax, and there is the hash rate, and here are the temperatures. Looks like uh, it's getting a little bit up there, uh, but you can see here about 75 watts per card, and here are my overclocks. So one thing I am actually surprised about is these Zotac 1660s, and you know, they all have Micron memory. So what I've seen before and what I've heard is that the regular like non-super non-ti usually sometimes have hynix memory 
And so what I was expecting was that these were able to probably go up maximum 24 mega hash, but I didn't know that these had micron memory. So yeah, they don't have Hynix. So what it, reports that I've been seeing online is Hynix has uh, able to get between like 21 to 24 mega hash or something. But uh, looks like uh, Space Goats really helped me out here, got me some micron Zotac uh, 1660s here, and yeah, they're doing really well at 27 mega hash and uh, 75 watts, which I think is, I mean, it's pretty good, right? We're getting like 162.3 mega hash for the total rig, okay? And uh, guys, you're probably wondering about profitability, so I have all the numbers entered here. Actually, let me put 525 for the watts, and we can probably do the same thing for ETH hash as well. Uh, 162 and 525. Obviously, I think we all know that Ethereum is going to be the king in terms of profitability. And so at 10 cents kilowatt hour, guys, you guys can see, yeah, Ethereum, obviously the most profitable coin at the moment. So wow, at 10 cents kilowatt hour, this rig alone is making about $22 a day as of recording this video. So that is amazing and guys I will have the link down below you guys can follow the address where I'm mining it to and uh, maybe some of you guys can help me uh, just keep watch of this I'll, I'll just have it on all the way until we can essentially break even on this Zotac 1660 rig okay so yeah like I said it's about $2,500 you know theoretically of if I were to buy the parts now all together okay so around like $300 per 1660 and yeah, including motherboard, CPU, power supply, all that other stuff, SSD, at roughly around $2,500. So we're going to see how long it'll take essentially to get to just mine, you know, I'm just going to mine straight Ethereum, all right, on this rig. And we will see, you know, maybe in four months, all right, technically, I think it's around three or four months. I think I did the math where we will technically break even. Uh, on $2,500 with, within like four months or so. So yeah, we'll keep track of the Ethermine address here, guys. Link down below in case some of you guys want to follow it. But yeah, this is pretty cool. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. That's it. I was going to test some other hash rates, but honestly, it's, <laughs> it's like Ethereum is obviously the most number one coin that everyone's trying to mine right now. And who knows, right? Who knows if potentially the amount of rewards that we're mining a day, which is supposed to be, you know, 0 0.0132 uh, Ethereum around there a day. And, you know, if that's going to add up in the next four months or so, I think we should have like maybe 1.2 Ethereum, one Ethereum. And if Ethereum price decides to go up even more, I think as of recording, as of making this video, I think Ethereum is 1797 right now, $1,797. So yeah, that's that's quite insane, right? So actually doing the math, it wouldn't be like 1.2, I would need like, what, 1.5 in order to break even roughly around there. But anyways, we'll see in the next four months if we can potentially get our initial investment back. But we shall see, okay? So guys, yeah, let me know your thoughts, that's it. And this rig is pretty sick. Look how small form factor it is. That's what I like about this rig. It's just so nice, so small, and yeah, really clean. I'm glad everything works now. 850 watt power supply, and uh, we're getting about, yeah, still about 525, 26 watts. Okay, so my friends, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, and uh, if anyone has any pointers regarding this h110 that decided not to work and just reboot constantly or turn off yeah that's that's a weird one okay anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video have a good one and peace out